He's so fast, he makes fast guys look not fast. Unless you've been living under a rock the last few months, then you likely already know that the used truck market, it's absolutely, without a doubt, insane, okay? Like, we're talking crazier than Shia LaBeouf after his whole just do it meltdown thing. Yikes. But despite the absolutely booming truck market, there are a few good buys out there. One of the seemingly good deals are some of the three quarter and one ton trucks with the old gas engines. But at the end of the day, what really makes them different than their diesel counterparts? And more importantly, are they a good buy? I'm Dustin, Dusty.co on Instagram. And in today's video, we're having a quick little chat on the beefier of the full size trucks to find out, are gas heavy duty trucks really worth it? Let's get it. Now, as we get into this one, I gotta remind you guys that if you're looking for a set of wheels and tires for your truck, be that a half ton, a one ton, a quarter ton, a diesel, a gas, it doesn't matter. We've got you covered, customoffsets.com. You don't get a cowboy hat with your order, but you know, hey, it's a thought that counts. Also, you've got less than 24 hours at this point to get entered for a wicked cool set of custom engraved one of one Archon wheels, Mickey Thompson tires, and a super lift lift kit. Hurry up, pick up a t-shirt, check it out, customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway. Let's talk about trucks. Three quarter and one ton trucks aren't a new concept by any means. In fact, the word on the street tells me that the first three quarter ton truck was actually introduced in 1924 by the Dodge Motor Company. Can you imagine? In a time where Edwin Hubble is first discovering that our Milky Way galaxy is only just a teeny tiny little pencil tip in the whole grander scheme of the universe, Dodge is over here like, you know, it'd be cool. What if we made a heavier duty truck? And so they did that. With that being said though, however, this first Dodge pickup definitely was nothing like the three quarter ton trucks of today. In fact, despite the frame being made of steel, the cab and the box were entirely made of wood. Ford would follow suit in 1925, the year after launching their first three quarter ton pickup truck as well. And the rest is, well, history. Now, over the years, these three quarter and one ton trucks would change significantly, growing and shaping and molding and adding two more rear wheels if you wanted a dually and, you know, giving customers the options of either a gas or a diesel engine and leading us to where we are today. Starting in the late 1990s though, turbo diesel engines began to become even more popular, ultimately creating this massive divide when it came to the truck market. On one side, you have the gas powered guys that, who rave about engine simplicity, cheaper maintenance, and overall just lower cost of ownership. On the flip side are the diesel guys, right? We already know these guys, I'm one of these guys. Their claim to fame is fuel efficiency, engine performance, and overall longevity and reliability of the whole truck. But at the end of the day, which one is right? And more importantly, which one is right for you? Let's start with what both of these trucks have in common. Now, you're gonna have to bear with me as we're gonna make a few generalizations here. I understand that if you really dive deep into the RPO codes under the old dash of your specific truck, you are bound to find some differences between the gas and the diesel variants. Things like axle sizes, final gear ratios, fuel pump setups, I mean, even spring rates in your suspension are going to vary slightly depending on your specific truck, your specific trim package, your specific options, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. With that being said though, as a general rule of thumb, Gas and diesel heavy duty trucks are for the most part relatively the same. This means that you're getting the same frame, you're getting the same suspension, you're getting the same transmission, and then you're getting the same general ride quality between the two. So what makes them different? Starting with the diesel and coming from a diesel owner myself, I can tell you that diesels, they're a bit of a handful. They're, they're finicky, they're, they're, they're different. For starters, diesel fuel definitely has a unique smell and if you're not about the smell of diesel fuel, you better get used to it real quick if you buy a diesel truck. Every single time you fill up, your hands are gonna smell like diesel, your clothes are gonna smell like diesel, everything's gonna smell like diesel, it's just how it works. It's like anti-seize, you get it out, you put it on one bolt, you thread it in there and you come out of there looking like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz, okay? I don't know how it happens, it just everywhere. In addition to that, maintenance on a diesel is going to be quite a bit more expensive than that of a gas truck. Parts are usually built heavier on the engine because the added torque of a diesel engine, you know, they just make more and thus it means you're going to have more expensive parts. 
With that said though, it's not all doom and gloom when it comes to diesel pickups. Perhaps, if not, the biggest benefit of having a diesel truck is that added power that comes with it. There's just nothing quite like going to pass somebody on the highway when you're loaded with a trailer, just being able to lean onto that throttle and then have all the torque that you could possibly want to get up to speed and get past them in a reasonable amount of time. On the flip side, in a gas truck, you gotta like back up and then map the throttle, watch for it to downshift and then like slingshot engage them like Ricky Bobby up in here. On the flip side, here are the gas heavy duty trucks. And for starters, these guys are gonna be a lot. And I mean a lot cheaper than a diesel truck. If you don't believe me, go to Facebook right now and look up the value of a used Ford F-250. There's usually about a 10 to $15,000 split between the gas trucks and the diesel trucks. We're talking 15 grand. It's pretty wicked. Even though they're cheaper than diesel trucks though, gas heavy duty trucks are just that. They're still heavy duty trucks. This means that you're gonna get a stiffer ride, the heavier suspension built to tow more weight and overall just a more heavy duty frame and chassis than you would find in a half ton truck. While this is great for towing, if you tow a lot, it may not exactly be your cup of tea if you're looking for a super smooth riding daily driver type truck. That's just how they work. On top of that, because it's a gas engine, you can expect a little less fuel economy as typically these gas trucks make a little less power than their diesel counterparts. And it, it goes without saying, but typically a gas truck is not going to last you quite as long as a diesel truck out there. Typically, and we're using a lot of typically and hypotheticals here, but as a general rule of thumb, gas trucks will get you somewhere between 200,000 and 250,000 miles. That's, that seems to be when they kind of reach their end of life cycle. You know, whereas like a diesel, it's not uncommon to see those run 350,000 miles or even a little bit more. At the end of the day though, what makes a gas heavy duty truck appealing to most folks is that you still get that three quarter or one ton truck, but you retain that simplicity of a gas engine. Zach from the Millennial Farmer is a prime example to this, right? The simple, easy, reliable, dependable, ease of use of walking out your door in the winter time, firing your truck up, regardless of what the temperature is, not having to wait for it to warm up, no smelly diesel exhaust or diesel fuel additives or glow plugs or 15 quart oil changes and no plugging your truck in, none of that, right? You just, you just walk out, you turn the key, you get into a simple, reliable, easy to drive truck. Plus with your truck being like 10 grand or more less than a diesel truck, you can buy your new truck and then also build it. You can throw a lift and wheels and tires at it for 10 grand and maybe even a couple other mods and you've got a more than capable truck and it's built the way you want it for less money than you would have paid for a diesel. What do you guys think though? Is a gas heavy duty truck worth it or are you sticking the diesel route? Let me know down in the comment section below and as always be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. With that, I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.